Hey everybody, welcome back to Basinger's Disc Golf Channel. Josh here and I've got Seth Overbay with me. What's up guys? And we got some more BDGC tournament coverage for you. Please subscribe for more disc golf videos if you haven't done so already. Once again, we're at the 2019 Tennessee State Disc Golf Championships. This is a round three back nine at Panther Creek State Park Disc Golf Course. We've got Chris Dickerson, Joey Lutz, Brandon Brown, Chris Oerick, and Zach Melton on this card. So uh, Chris Dickerson's sitting at 35 down right now. He's in the lead. But uh, Lutz and Brandon Brown are right behind him at 28 down. So uh, we'll see what we can get going on here. Panther Creek is the newest addition to Morristown Disc Golf. Uh, being the longest course in town now so we're going to start out this back nine video on hole 12 370 foot uh chris is going to be going with probably some sort of uh, turnover shot here this is a good lefty hole or a flick for righties or a turnover as well this is one of the few par threes on the course so this is one of the holes that you really want to try to get that to mm -hmm. Looks pretty good from Chris, maybe a little low. Yeah, he unfortunately got knocked down a little bit early there. Unconventional right here. I've seen this a few times by a few different people. Mm -hmm. You lean out over the tee, and there's a pretty big gap for the forehand. Joey got way down there. That's a great flick. As we said in the uh, previous video, if you haven't checked it out already, the uh, front nine of this, Joey's got one of the strongest forehands in the game. Got... Uh, Team Smoky Mountain Discs player uh, Chris Ulrich here, known locally as KO. Here we got BB. Um, looks like he's going to be flicking too. Mm -hmm. Saw some really strong forehands from him in the uh, front nine video. Not sure what he's flicking there, but it's probably something pretty stable because basket finishes to the right, so he's going to be wanting to see. Oh. Need a tree there, but he's putting some pretty good flex on that disc, trying to get it to go left and then come back to the right. Mm -hmm. Next up, we got Dynamic Disc sponsored Zach Melton, lefty on the tee here. Seth and I are both lefties as well, so yeah. he's uh, definitely excited coming up to this hole. What do you think? He's got a mid range, maybe? Yeah, um, well, not sure what that is. Maybe his deputy, something like that. Yeah, that's what that is, his deputy. Trying to hit that. How's he got there? Looks like he did it pretty well. Nice and wide, but uh, he ended up way past the basket down there. So you'll see that on the uh, next shot there. Dixon, as you see here, got caught up early on the right side. Once again, I've mentioned it in all the videos, but locals did a lot of work cutting out trees. So you're going to see some logs and limbs on, off the sides of the fairways here. And that's going to be... He's going to be making that one for his hand. par. Mm -hmm. BB also over there on that right side of the fairway. It's tricky footing. Mm -hmm. Just going to be trying to put this on close, I would say. Yeah. Just that. It's going to be another tap in. As you can see here, Zach went way long past the basket. Had to take a knee. He's got a flick shot up here. That's, I believe you said, his harp, right? Yeah, another fl flick from Zach. Putting almost, that close. Mm -hmm. He hit off the cage, almost put it in. So Joey also went uh, long. This is his comebacker. Great turnover forehand. Yep. Puts it right at it. So you won't see this on video, but uh, Dickerson and BB already tapped in their threes. And uh, this is KO shooting for his paw, uh, birdie, actually. Ooh, a little high. Yep. Joey there just tapping in. Mm -hmm. Joey Lutz sponsored by Full Flight. Looks like these other two are just going to tap in their pars, too. No shame in a par, though. Oh, no. Panther is uh, a really long... Uh, heavily wooded course, uh, pars, you know, I know you always want to shoot for birdie, but you're not going to be upset. You're not going to frown at any par on this course. So moving on to hole 13, 590 foot par four. This one uh, is 
mainly about getting off the tee and getting out in the open, right? Yep. It is gettable, though, with how significantly downhill it is. Mm -hmm. If you hit the gap with a right-to-left moving shot, um, you can get some flex on a disc and get it to come back and give yourself a putt. Chris does exactly that there. Didn't quite flex it enough, but he did hit the gap, so he should be okay. Mm -hmm. He's going to be on the right side. There's some tall grass over there, but it's not OB. It's it's in play. So This hole made for Joey. Absolute crush of a forehand. Another flip and... Flipped quite a bit, but he, he's down there for sure. So we were having some problems with the catch cam, the battery. The Panther, as I said, is a very long course. We filmed one round before this as well, so... Catch cam battery was almost dead at this point, so we saved it for hole 14. Okay, they were just hitting, getting out with a hyzer left, but once again, he's out. Mm -hmm. Maybe it looks like he's lining up a forehand here. Yep, just going to try to hit that gap once again. Mm -hmm. Everybody's, yep. He did just that too, flexing like Joey. Except it looks like his is going to come back to the right. Mm -hmm. Couldn't quite see it finish, but looked really good. Zach with the lefty here, he's going to be trying, I would say, probably something with some Anheuser. Probably the same kind of line those guys were yep. going with the flick. So. Mm. Unfortunately, hit really early, and he's... Yeah. Still got a lot of work to do here. Bad kick, too. Mm -hmm. You get on that right side over there, it's a lot more wooded on the right side as opposed to right in the middle of the fairway there. You can see he hit once again and got knocked down. So he's looking at about mm, 350 here, maybe, of distance left to go. Not being able to do much more than a standstill. Mm -hmm. Looks like a great shot though, downhill. And yeah, that's, right that's how you do it. <laughs> Absolutely. A little bit of unfortunate skip, but I mean, he put that exactly, right, I mean, right beside the basket. Joey tossing up, mm -hmm. forehand. Once again, as I said, this tall grass over here, obviously in play. You can see they have a defined fairway mode. Mm -hmm. Just left the rough, rough. Mm -hmm. Chris here putting for the two. So yeah, Chris got quite a bit of distance on his drive. Ooh. Gave it a good bid. Yeah. The BB uh, got the CTP here on this card and he just got way down there with that massive forehand. Yep. And this is a good range for him. He's a uh, if you haven't seen other coverage, make sure you check it out. He's got he's got jump putts. A little high on that one. Good birdie from Joey. As you can see Zach, like we said, he, he put it right right beside the basket, but he got that unfortunate skip. Zach putting for his par. Just, mm. just missing that one. And here at this point in time, you could probably hear it on the uh, video here, but there was a, a house alarm going off in the background here. Oh my, that's a brutal spit out there. Mm -hmm. Nothing yeah, dead, you can do about that though. Yeah, that was dead center. I mean, he couldn't do anything different there. All these guys are just going to tap in. Zach with the judge. Obviously, Dickerson putting with PA3s. Do you know what BB's putting with? He's putting with the Glow PA3s as well. Okay. Uh, Chris has his own signature series PA3s, so I'm sure he's putting with those 300 ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, 36 down for Dickerson now. Moving on to hole 14, 465 feet. Uh, this uphill all the way, yep. so plays quite a bit longer than 465. This hole is really a bonus birdie. Uh, you have the bigger arm guys like Chris here um, are able to, you know, get their self a putt. So we'll see what he does here. Looks like a D1. Put a little bit of Anheuser on it, maybe. Big run up. He's ripped that one. Mm -hmm. 
That's way up there. So if he didn't hit those trees, I mean, he possibly could have been past the basket. That was, probably been inside the circle at least. Mm -hmm. Joey here with the forehand. Um, this can work too if you, you know, put some good flex on it as he does there. Just coming out a little early on him, mm -hmm. even catching those wrenches. So this, once again, as I said, a little bit of catch came on this one, but the battery was dying, so shout out to Jason for walking around. My brother, Jason Basinger, for doing catch cam. Wasn't able to get much on the back nine here, but it's good footage there. BB had a good, uh, a real good drive also. Pretty cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. It says 465, but it plays a lot longer than that. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think all these guys got 465 in the bag. Mm -hmm. KO... Seems to turn his over a little bit too much, and it got caught up in that tree on the right side there. Yep. Zach here lining up the lefty back in. So with Zach with having obviously more power than you or I, what do you think he's doing here? Just a little bit of turnover and then yep. trying to fade out to the right side? Um, yeah, he can even, you know, he has enough power to probably give himself a putt. Looks like he's going to be throwing that gold line ballista pro. Giving it some good turn, probably maybe get under those branches up there. Yep. Yeah. Looks like he mashed on it. A little low, but that's that's pretty good. Oh yeah. I'd say uh, circle two, for sure. Joey here going bird looks like. Hmm. It's pretty yeah. close. It looks like. Looks like KO fought through a little bit more than I thought he did, so he's got a soft little putter up shot here. Yep. Do you know what his up shot disc is there? No, right. I'm not sure on that one. That mm. Flashed the basket though. Oh yeah, almost put it in. Zach looks like to be he's gonna be giving this one a run. From outside circle two, I would say. Yeah, it looks like a little bit outside. <clears throat> oh. Just a little short. Tell you wanted that one. Mm -hmm. BB also going to give it a run here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Little turn. Yeah, he didn't. Mm -hmm. He didn't like that one out of his hand. No, he didn't turn it quite enough yet. Mm -hmm. Dickerson also outside the circle. Yep. Looks like he's putting over the branch. Lining it up, trying yep. to see what he can do. Yep. If anybody's got a chance to deuce this hole, it's him. Yeah. He actually goes over the branch. Oh, wow. <laughs> Great putt from Dickerson. And you can see he runs that one down. Absolutely. So he's pretty excited about that. Pick yourself up a PA3 if you haven't already. <laughs> This is what they do, apparently, at least in the hands of Chris. That's, that's just a great putt. That's a great putt. I would say this one probably wasn't too more than a handful of times no. on the day. No. Joey here, a little short on that bird shot. But he's able to make that putt mm -hmm. in the birdie. Very good putt. Zach went a little bit long after his bid. <clears throat> I would say this hole is kind of a, oh, Zach there with a little, little didn't quite commit to it. Mm -hmm. But I would say hole 14 is kind of a softish par four. All these guys easily getting their birdies, mm -hmm. you know. For the pros, it's not really a, you know, par four. Just kind of give yourself a look and then get the birdie. Mm -hmm. Zach gonna tap his in after that unfortunate miss there Dickerson now at 10 down for the round which is just unheard of yeah moving on to hole 15 another par 4 uh, 650 feet I would say this one a little bit more legit of a par 4 than the last one definitely so it's uh, as you can see the path the cutout fairway there uh, into the right in the woods over there is where it is so they want to go over the hill and then up top the other hill and down to the right side Looks like most of the righties you'll see, we're just going to throw that. A little bit of turn maybe, 
just hides her over to the left side. Mm -hmm. um, that's a great spot for me. Christine's going to be looking straight at the basket, but it's really hard to just try to attack this hole. Mm -hmm. I have seen uh, some right-handed players try and go over the trees on the right side, yeah, but say, it's hard to get a lot of distance with that. Enjoy. Unleashing a forehand here. Massive. Great turn, and that's just crushed. Oh, yeah, that's in. Great spot. Mm -hmm. BB also, he's got a huge arm too. Very smooth form. A little bit of turn on it. Yep. I mean, that's, Quite a bit of turn, that's, mm -hmm. that's gonna be fun. I mean, all these shots, that's exactly what you wanna do on this hole. If you step up to this, that placement right there, you really can't get much better than where they're landing. Nope. Once again, here's K.O. with this purple disc. He was throwing it the entire course so far. Mm -hmm. Great turn on that as well. Flexing out. Great shot. shot. Now, Zach here can be a little bit more aggressive. Doesn't have to worry as much about the trees on the right side unless he's trying to get in the gap. And he just mashes on that. Oh, yeah. Gold on Blister Pro goes far. He's crushed that one. Wow. Actually, almost went past the opening there. So he almost went a little bit past that. Dixon, soft little putter, Anheuser shot here, it looks like. Looks like he's probably going, I don't know, PA4 probably. Mm -hmm. Putting that one close, though. A little down the hill. Yeah, maybe a little more turn than he wanted, but still a good shot. Kale's going with a flick. The flick's kind of a unconventional shot because the it's going to be fading down the hill as you can see there. It's probably going to probably got a little bit of skip. Mm -hmm. As we were mentioning, this placement shot here. If you're any short of this area, you really you don't have eyes on the basket, so it just makes that that shot a lot more difficult. So they're in a prime area right here to just be able to give it a run, at least set it down by the basket. Joey turned that one a little too much there, but should be okay. BB, BB. oh, sorry, Go also going to the turnover, it looks like. Yep, putter turnover just like Chris. Beautiful shot. Yeah. He just didn't quite drift as much down the hill. Mm -hmm. Zach here, this is one of the farthest drives I've seen. Yeah. This hole. I mean, he's right at the mouth. If he hadn't hit that tree, he possibly could have skipped down in there some. Oh, yeah, that's a great upshot there. That's an easy tap. That's one of the easiest tap in threes you're going to see on this hole. Chris Fountain putting from down the hill. Mm -hmm. Really lining it up, getting his routine in, as we mentioned. Love to see him do that, make sure he's comfortable with the putt. Not quite. A little low. I almost missed BB's putt there, but got half of it. And there's just a great hit from down there. Yep. Great. Great birdie save. Went a little long, but then he just ended up making the putt. Mm -hmm. So he got KO from about probably around the same area. Mm -hmm. Lining it up, taking his time. So just pretty thick on that outside there. So you just left that one low. Mm -hmm. If you do go in that wooded area, you don't want to go too deep because you could potentially have no line at the basket whatsoever. Joey with a great putt yep. as well. Making his three. Mm -hmm. We're just going to have K.O. and Chris here are going to tap in their fours. I'm sure he was one to three after those. Both of those guys are one to threes after those drives, I would say. Mm-hmm. Zach here with the easiest three. Yeah, that's just outstanding. So Dickerson still at 38 down. Uh, BB and uh, Joey Lutz are uh, just right behind him though, trying to chase him down. Moving on to hole 16, 365 feet. Uh, this is gonna be a hard one to see on film because like I said, the catch cam was dead, but these guys are going hyzer over the top. Yep, it's definitely there for the righties. Mm -hmm. um, I would say 
if you if you hit the initial gap off the tee, don't throw it high enough, you're gonna have a putt down there. These guys all have the power to easily get down there. But there's also this route that BB's lining up. Looks like forehand. Um, there's a couple gaps over there. You can go super wide or maybe inside. Let's see what he does here. Mm -hmm. He goes super wide. I think that that gap right there is the good, has the highest percentage of getting you the birdie. Look. Mm -hmm. So it's 365, but downhill, so it does play shorter than that. I would say 340 or so. It's reachable by most players. Now, Zach goes with the line I've never actually yep. seen. I don't do that personally, but, you know, he has more power than us. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit more power, as you can see there. Chris is lining up that wide hazard mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Probably X1, if I had to guess. Big hazard. Yep, just lost that blue disc in the sky. Yeah. Unfortunately, that happens sometimes on these cameras. KO looking for different lines, and he's doing something here that I've actually never seen either. He's doing a backhand roller. A roller on this hole, that's very, very aggressive. aggressive, yeah. Looked like it turned out nicely. Joey looks like to be the farthest out here. Jump putting. Try to get the two. Joey, no stranger to these courses. He comes to Tennessee States every year. Gave it a good run, but a little unfortunate roll after it. This is where Zach ended up over there in the... In the woods. Yeah. The happy little trees. <laughs> Falling down. Yeah. He got out. Yeah. He's going to be able to save his part from there, hopefully. So Dickerson looks like his hyzer had a little bit more than he wanted, but he's got a long jump putt. Yeah. Step putt, rather. Not out of his comfort zone. Mm -mm. And just a little short. Mm -hmm. BB looks like he landed just around the edge of the circle here. Yep, he's just going to be trying to get the two as well. Picking up a stroke on everybody if he makes it. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice party. That one has to feel good. Yeah, for sure. KO also down here for the two. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah so that roller yeah. definitely worked out. I've never seen that, but definitely. Never seen roller on that hole, yeah, but <laughs> no. apparently it works. <laughs> New line for the Roddies, maybe? Yeah. He's going to get the birdie as well. Mm -hmm. Joey here. Having to take a knee because of that low hanging branch there. For his par. Mm hmm. A little more than he wants, probably. Great. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's a great hit from Joy. Save for his par save. Yeah. Up and in. Moving on to 17, right? Is everybody tapped out? No. Uh, Dickerson's got to tap out here. Then we'll be moving on to 17. 17's a long one as well. You can see Dixon still at 10 down, uh, 38 down for the tournament. 17, 635 foot par five. Soft par five, but uh, definitely at least par four, wouldn't you say, Seth? Yep. Yep, I would definitely <clears throat> say this is one of the most equable holes on the course. Mm -hmm. um, with a good tee shot from the righty hyzer, you know, you're going to have a look to be able to throw your second shot up to the basket. Mm hmm. Didn't quite see that one. I think he went a little bit wide and got knocked down on the right side there. I've heard rumors that uh, Will Schuster actually last year toed this hole. He did. He um, Long throw in. Yep, he threw it and it skipped off the ground. And he got himself an albatross. KO got knocked up, knocked in, down early as well. In the middle though. Joey. Backhand as well, a little high maybe. Hits a tree. Zach, forehand. Right to left moving shot, just trying to hit the gap. Mm -hmm. 
I think a backhand roller could work out good for a lefty here as well. Uh, the ground's a little bit rough for that. It's super mulchy. Mm -hmm. Zach didn't really like that one out of his hand. Yeah, he didn't look too happy. Not sure what Chris is throwing here. Well, you know, just a 500 foot shot through the woods. <laughs> yeah, that's good. that's in great position for the eagle. Joey, you can see there, um, if you end up on the left side, there's an inside gap. It looks like he's trying to hit that there with a the oh, and he does. Beautiful forehand. Yeah, that's a great shot from Joey. Just short. But from where he was, that's about all you can do. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it looks like he's trying to go high. Nope, no, no. slow. Got through. Mm -hmm. Turning over on him and just yeah. never wanted to fade out. Nope. Never came back. B looks like he's going to line up the roller. Just try to get up the fairway as far as possible. Looks like a little too much angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to put him over there on the left. It's pretty rough over there well, on either side of this fairway, honestly. It's pretty rough. Zach ended up in fine position, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not too many gaps from right there in the middle. But let's see what he can do. Oh. Yeah, catches an early tree. Dickerson with just a, looks like a soft little hyzer shot here with a putter. PA3 maybe, I don't know. But that looks good. And, and yeah. He's definitely putting for an Eagle 3. Great shot there. BB looks like he's lining up another forehand roller. Now on the left side, he's wanting this one to curl, just like the last one. Mm -hmm. And... That's down, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looked a little too straight, but should be okay. Mm -hmm. Joey flicking the bird again. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's trying to turn it over. Yeah. I think it just drops out of the sky. And oh. Almost puts it in. He almost started celebrating there because we all thought that one was going in. Yep. Great shot from Joey. Kale looks like he's lining up a step putt here from well outside the circle. Outside the circle, too, actually, probably. On the edge, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just left it short. Mm -hmm. I'd say at this point on round three, these guys know they've got to make things happen to try and catch up to Chris. Yep, they, uh, Chris is starting to pull ahead a little bit here. Mm -hmm. He's also putting for an eagle here in hole 17. Yep, great. Uh, Dickerson's putting together a round that nobody's ever seen here on this course. It's just the third eagle of the round, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Fourth eagle of the round. So yeah, he's getting it done. He's like there with a good birdie putt. Oh yeah. BB trying to save the birdie. And just low. Mm. Joey tap in three or four rather. The rest of these guys are pretty close. Probably going to be able to tap in. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it looks like I'm hole 17. Uh, one eagle and three birdies and a par from BB. Uh, Dickerson trying to stretch that lead out even more now. Hole 18 is 365 foot. A little bit uphill, but it kind of flattens out and maybe a little bit downhill after you crest the top of that hill. That's looking good from Chris. Mm -hmm. Has turn. Fading back exactly where you want it yeah, to. Yeah, he's really close. KO next up. Once again, throwing that purple disc. I want to say it's a Ballista Pro that he's been crushing on all day long. That looks really good. Getting some turn on it. 
Yeah, that looked great as well. Cross the loose at the end, but. Mm -hmm. You can see the mold fairway here again. Worth mentioning once again, not out of bounds. It's in play, just, you know, you, most of that doesn't come into play on this hole for sure. Joey, ripping on a hosier. Mm -hmm. We talk a lot about Joey's forehand, but his backhand is... Just as good? Yeah, absolutely. Zach lined up the forehand with that lucid enforcer there. Or defender, rather. And he's going to be looking to probably flip it up a little bit. And finish with a little bit of hosier at the end. Mm -hmm. That one just came out low. Held on though. BB next up. Probably going to line up the hot. Yep, looking to throw the hazard. That's all the other guys have. Looks like that core team D2 you just mentioned in the last video. Yep. Flipped it up a little bit. And nice hazer finish. Mm -hmm. He should be putting. Yep. Zach did finish a little short because of how low his shot was. Mm -hmm. Just gonna toss up there. Can't really see from this angle, but those two trees right there are definitely in BB's view of the basket. Yeah, B straddled out pretty far here. Mm -hmm. Just left that one low right. Zach for his par save. Yep. Taking his time, normal routine. Try to put this one in there for the par. Mm. That one just chains out right on. A little bit of struggle on the putting green from Zach. Joey looking for his two. Great two. Yep. Just the birdie. BB next up. Chris is yet to putt, so. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty close. Up and in from BB. Yeah. KO also, you know, just laid it up for a perfect tap in two. And there's Chris for his two. <laughs> Is that going to tap in the boat? After hole 18 here, we're going to be moving back to hole one. Dickerson at 41 down for the tournament, 13 down for the round. Hole one here, 735 foot par five. Dickerson just throws a hyzer. Anywhere over there for those guys mm -hmm. is gonna be okay for their second shots. Just main thing on this hole, I'd say just get around that corner there and fade out into the middle of the fairway and then there's a uh, open uh, opening into the woods that you'll see once we get up to these approach shots. This is a play here I do as well with the lefty backhand, but Joey's going to be doing it with the forehand. You can really um, flex it out there and get some nice finish. Mm -hmm. Joey going super high. What a bomb! That looked really good. Yeah. Couldn't see a finish, so that's a good sign. BB going with a conventional right-handed backhand hyzer. <laughs> Looking good. In the middle of the fairway. Good shot. See here's Zach lining up that backhand. Definitely wanting to turn it over and then let it flex back out into the probably something overstable, wouldn't you think? Yeah, yeah, probably more overstable. Flexing on it enough. Yeah. Enough stability to come out. Yeah. To be pretty high. Maybe higher than he wanted. Yeah. Just flexing back down towards the middle. Yeah. Is that almost going in quick? Yeah, almost missed a shot there, but. That gap right there is where you want to hit to go up towards the basket. You saw some other players there walking mm -hmm. in the middle of his throw. Yeah, unfortunately, that the, 
they had finished on hole two or three, and there's no other way uh, back out to the parking lot except for walking down, back down a fairway. So. And BB there with a great looking flea just caught a tree, kept him from getting to the basket. K.O. knew out of his hand, he just left that one out of his hand a little early. Mm -hmm. Chris here, throwing his second shot, looked to be in a, I don't know, D1, star stamp D1 there. Mm -hmm. Love those dies he has on there. He's looking good. Oh, oh catches a tree. Mm -hmm. And Joey, you can see with his forehand, he just absolutely mashed this one. He's way down there. Yep. Might even be a little cut off because mm -hmm. of how close he is. Yep. Couldn't mm -hmm. quite hit the main gap there, so we had to go early and ended up catching a tree. Mm -hmm. So you can't hardly see here, but this is KO over there on the left side. And got through everything and actually yeah. passed the basket down there. Great shot from KO. Joey looking at his options. You can see if you're not right in the middle of that fairway, uh, you basically have to find your own new line. Yep. A bunch of pick and poke gaps. Mm -hmm. Joey just looking to go wide, turnover, flick. Yeah, and that's up there for a putt. Mm -hmm. Once again, here's BB jump putting from like 120 feet. <laughs> No, he's probably 90 feet though, mm -hmm. jump putting up to the basket. Unrailed, gave it a run. Chris here just gonna toss up, throwing his third. Taking his time. Yeah, and. Almost <laughs> throws it in. Once again, that heart from Zach. Let that one flex. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's going to be trying to save the... Par, I believe. Par, yeah, here. I want to say. No, oh, birdie, buddy. birdie. Nice birdie from Kale. Mm -hmm. Joey's well putting birdie. Yep. So maybe for the, these bigger arms, uh, maybe this one should be played as a par four, but uh, definitely no shame in a birdie on this one, on a four on this one. Chris here with the easy four. Tap in. Yep. That's gonna send it off to, send us off to the final hole on this back nine coverage, hole two. It's a short one after all these long holes. 295 feet, par three, obviously. Um, just like a little Roddy Hauser shot. Chris is probably throwing some kind of mid-range or putter here. He's trying to hit the gap, Hauser, down, Hauser out a little bit, and get himself a putt. Yep. That's looking great. Just that. Mm-hmm. He should have a tap in for two there. Okay, I'll throw in the back end as well. Looking good. Got it even a little straighter than Chris's. Mm -hmm. Joey with the back end. This should be a, a routine too for these guys. Joey, a little inside. Still down there though, he didn't mm -hmm. hit any trees. BB. Still on the back end. Mm -hmm. Ooh. A little wide, got knocked yep. down early. It's a tree. Zach here gonna be flicking. 
Trying to get over there and finish his round with the two. Surprised to not see Zach throwing a putter with some turnover on this one. Yeah. He's very comfortable with the flick, so we'll see what he can do here. It's probably a felon, and he hits the gap perfectly and just gets up there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, unfortunate roll. Wow. BB just trying to get up and down from here to finish the run with the par. Mm -hmm. Just outside his jump putt range. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's looking great. That's perfect. So Joey, as we said, a little bit short, but he has a putt. Long putt. Yep. Can't count him out, though. Oh, oh yep. Just off the band. Mm hmm Zach as well, trying to make this one after that unfortunate roll. Yeah, you saw he had some awkward footing there. He kind of flopped forward onto a log. Mm -hmm. Once again, shout out to Smoky Mountain Discs. KO here, sponsored by Smoky Mountain Discs. Disc Golf Store in Maryville, Tennessee. He's just going to put that two in, finish his round with a nice birdie. Mm -hmm. Joey with the par. Chris, once again, has not thrown yet. <laughs> Zach's going to put out here. Save his par. Chris is going to come in and clean up that two. And with this putt right here, Course record, yep. as you just said. Course record by three strokes. Mm -hmm. 56. So yep. Just an outstanding round. 15 down from Dickerson. Uh, par, some of the pars, you know, are, were a little bit soft, but still, a 56 on this course is absolutely unheard of. So. Yeah, he pulled himself away from the field from that. Mm -hmm. He's 15 under par round. Yeah, 43 down now for Dickerson. So um, if you don't care, please uh, stick around and check us out on our Round four coverage of 2019 Tennessee State. That'll be at Cherokee Park featuring Chris Dickerson, John E. McRae, Joey Lutz, uh, local player Eli Ferguson, and BB as well. So uh, please make sure you come back and check that out. Huge thank you again to my brother Jason Basinger for getting what catch cam he could get with the battery on this video. And Seth, thanks again for joining me on commentary. Yep, thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. And check us out on uh, Facebook and Instagram at Basinger's Disc Golf Channel TN and on Patreon as well if you want to at BDGC. That's it. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends and help promote disc golf in your area. Thanks for watching. That's, yeah, roll, baby. yeah, I'm glad you threw that instead of the felon. There's no way the felon does that. <laughs> Thank you. The James way. You just want to watch while I throw? Just stay there. You're good. Did that come out smart ass? I didn't mean it smart ass. <gasps> no, I didn't. Oh, bad. <laughs>